which I never believed, but like a blink of an eye. First up right now at six, the survivor of a wrong way crash in Haddam speaks exclusively to Eyewitness News. Tonight he is recovering after a car going the wrong way slammed into his vehicle yesterday. We first covered this as breaking news last night and tonight we're shining a light on the growing number of these kinds of wrong way crashes. In fact, this year 13 people have died in wrong way crashes here in our state. Channel 3 chief investigative reporter Matthew Campbell is live along the highway in Hartford tonight looking into what is being done to make these roads safer. Matthew. Yeah, Aaron and Mark, the state's going to be adding new technology to some on ramps, but safety is really a two way street. There's a lot of responsibility on the driver as well. And the young man that you're about to meet did everything right, but could still not avoid that head on collision. It hurts to breathe a little bit. My whole right side, um, my groin, my leg, pins and needles on like the right side. 22 year old Avion Woods is still in tremendous pain, but take a look at what he survived. The delivery truck he was driving was completely mangled after the driver of this SUV hit him head on. That car that was just on the other side of the road in a split second is now directly in front of you. State police say the 82 year old driver was going the wrong way on Route 154 and had him yesterday afternoon. That driver and her 83 year old passenger died. It's legit as they describe it, which I never believed, but like a blink of an eye. Woods was knocked unconscious and woke up to emergency crews surrounding him. His partner survived and is recovering at Hartford Hospital. I'm just happy I'm alive, thank God, and I, I'm actually talking and breathing. Woods is lucky because it's already been an awful year for wrong way fatalities. 13 people have died, including four people in Guilford on 95 this weekend. And that's a trend that we're seeing in Connecticut and throughout the country. Josh Morgan from the Department of Transportation says speeding, distracted driving, and lack of seat belts are things contributing to deaths. These are all things drivers can control, but the state is also stepping up efforts. Beginning next year, 15 360 degree cameras will be installed in areas that are seeing the most wrong way crashes. When the camera senses a car is going the wrong way, lights will be activated. The thought here is that a constant flashing light uh, people will tend to ignore. But if it's triggered by a vehicle passing over the camera's eye, but that will catch their attention. Data shows the hours from 11 p.m. to 3 a.m. are statistically the deadliest for wrong way crashes. But avions happened at 3 in the afternoon, proving danger can come at any time. Thank God me and my partner, we have five stars at work, so seatbelts is what we do. But if I didn't have a seatbelt on, man, I wouldn't be here right now. And the importance of seatbelts really underscored right there. And these are the things that we as drivers can do to stay safe. And in addition to the technology that we just talked about, the state is going to be spending an additional $20 million on extra signages. So you can see the wrong ways, the do not enter signs. You can expect to see more of those next year. And just to give some perspective, though, I covered that Guilford crash on 95 on Sunday. There were three of those red wrong way signs in that one mile of stretch of road where that crash happened. That is the latest live here in Hartford. Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News.